Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a maternity capsule wardrobe video. If there's one thing that I've learned about maternity clothes, it's that they are expensive. So I'm going to share with you guys the different pieces that you can have in your maternity wardrobe to create as many looks as possible without spending a ton of money on new clothes. Without any further ado, let's jump in. The first category is tops. First, we're gonna start out with our basics. I recommend having at least three basic tees and three basic tank tops in your capsule wardrobe. I have a simple black tank, a simple white tank that I'm wearing right now, and a gray tank. You can mix and match with these different tanks and style them in all kinds of different ways that I'll show you later on in this video. For basic tees, I have a black and white striped tee, a white tee, and a black tee. With those basic tops, we can do some layering, which will make your wardrobe look like you have more items in it than you really do. Because we are in the summer right now and I'll be pregnant into the early to mid fall, the weather will stay pretty warm to mild, so I don't want to be wearing really thick clothing. I like to layer with some lighter kimonos and cardigan type sweaters. It's fun to have different prints and styles to make your outfits really look different from each other, even though the only thing you're switching up is the outer layer. I also like to leave shirts like this one I'm wearing and this chambray shirt unbuttoned and wear it over either your tee or your tank top. And that way it's really light and airy and flowy and you don't get super hot, but it just dresses up the look. I also like to layer with jackets over the top. You can wear more business casual type blazers like like this that are still really comfortable and lightweight but can dress up your look or something more casual and low-key like a jean jacket over the top. A tip to remember with your capsule wardrobe is that you don't need a huge number of pieces you just want a variety of different pieces. The last category with tops is dressier tops. So I'm not talking super dressy just more of a blousey material or something just a little bit dressier than your basic tee. Light and flowy is really nice especially on those hot days you don't really want something clinging to you as it can make you feel warmer so I like a top like this that flows nicely. I have a few different styles that are the same type of airy flowy top and is really comfortable to wear when it's warm out. As well as with tees, same idea, really airy and flowy. It depends on what you're going for as well because with the basic tops, you can see your bump a lot more easy, but with these tops, it doesn't highlight the bump as much, but you feel a lot more airflow through your shirts. So it depends on what you're feeling like that day. I also like this style of top that has a little waistband that you can put at the top of your bump and as my bump gets bigger this shirt will not continue to work because this will come up and show <laughs> a lot of skin or you can wear a tank top underneath it. This shirt is the same idea and I will definitely be able to wear this one longer because there's more fabric underneath the waistband on this shirt. Okay now we're gonna move to bottoms. So I'm wearing my maternity shorts right now. I'll go ahead and show you guys in the next clip what they look like. I really like them because they have a nice elastic band on either side so they stretch with your belly but they're super comfortable. I also have these jeans from Pink Blush Maternity that has the waistband that goes all the way up over your belly and feels extremely comfortable. And other than that, they look like completely normal skinny jeans that I would wear on a regular basis. So I really like these. And then I have these maternity jeans from Target. They're the brand Isabel Maternity. And they have that stretch panel on the side just like my shorts. They also look like a very similar skinny style that I would wear. Not pregnant and they are comfortable. But personally, I like the over the belly style better now that I have a bigger belly. These were great when I was at the end of my first trimester and then into the first five or six weeks in my second trimester because once again, my belly wasn't very big, but I was still bigger than my normal size pre-pregnancy. So my jeans really started to dig in and those were a great transition style of jean that allowed for more room without having to wear that fabric over my belly because it wouldn't have really fit very well yet. So obviously wearing jeans and pants like this go great with any style of either the basic tank tops with the cardigans and jackets over the top or you could wear them with the dressier shirt and have a pair of booties or a cute pair of heels and dress your outfit up with the pants so it really just depends on how you want to wear them the last style of bottoms that I really like wearing are of course leggings you cannot tell a pregnant woman to have a capsule wardrobe without a good pair of leggings so I've tried probably about four different pairs of maternity leggings at this point and these are my absolute favorite they are the Zella live-in legging I talked 
talked about these in my maternity clothes must have video that I will link up here if you're interested. But I've been wearing Zella live-in leggings since I was in college and I've had the same pair of Zellas and they have barely worn, which I know sounds crazy, but I'm being honest. They have lost a little bit of their stretch and their elasticity, but they still fit super well. And then I've just added, so now I have like four pairs of Zellas and now I have the maternity style ones. And I just love these because they feel to me as good of quality as Lululemon, but they're half the price and they really just hold you in well without digging in at all and feeling uncomfortable. And the band comes nicely up over your belly and then in the back, it doesn't come up quite so high. They're just extremely comfortable. So these are great for pairing with your basics and a sweater over the top. If you're having a more casual, comfortable day, those leggings are fantastic. Now we're gonna work into dresses. I have a few different styles of dresses that I really enjoy wearing. The first is t-shirt dresses. These are fantastic for any summer day because they're casual and they also allow airflow. And any pregnant woman knows that you get super hot when you're pregnant and it's kind of like hot flashes. It's weird. I actually have cold flashes too, which makes really no sense. But it's all just having to do with those hormones. You're hot, you're cold, you're comfortable. You really don't know what you're gonna be. So it's nice to have an outfit that allows some airflow and breathability and you can feel comfortable in. So having a variety of different t-shirt dresses on hand can be really helpful. I have a mix of both tighter fitting t-shirt dresses that really accentuate the bump and also some looser fitting t-shirt dresses that have a little bit of room for movement. So it really depends on how much I wanna show the bump and honestly also what I'm wearing the dress for. I would wear more the cotton style t-shirt dress for just your everyday casual wear and then a dress like this that has more detail to it and is a little bit cuter for something like baby shower, bridal shower, hang out with friends or something like that. The next style of dress is still technically a t-shirt dress because it's got sleeves but it's a different style so these dresses have the seam that go underneath your bust and then have a lot more room and are not tight on your bump these can be really nice if you're just in the mood to let your clothes be more flowy and breathable without hugging your skin and making you feel hot. This one is three quarter length, so I would not wear it on a super hot day, but it is a little bit dressier, so I dressed this up with some heels and wore it to a baby shower and thought that it looked really cute. And then this one is definitely more casual, so I would wear this to the grocery store. It's got pockets in it, which is great for holding your phone. It has the seam that goes right below my chest, so then my bump has all this nice flowy material over it and it's really cute it doesn't make me look bigger than I am but it's comfortable and it doesn't hug you super tight the last style of dress I've really been enjoying is more of a summer dress like this that has a defined waist that goes right below the bust and then has the flowy material that goes over your bump super easy to wear you can just throw it on and wear some sandals and your outfit is complete or you could put a jacket or a sweater over the top and same with this one a nice seam underneath the bust and then you have the flowy material that goes over your bump. I just wore this one for 4th of July and I really like it. Okay, the last two things I'm gonna talk to you guys about are bras and shoes. For shoes, I really have been all about comfort lately. I love heels. I'm only five foot three, so I wear heels often. But as I've been pregnant, I have not been wearing heels and the times that I have, it's been super uncomfortable. So for the summer, one little fix or tip that I have for that is to wear platform sandals. Platform sandals are really in style right now. They're super cute and they still add about three, I would say two to three inches to my height without wearing a heel. So they feel really comfortable comfortable. I don't feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on my legs and my feet, but they still add the height that I'm looking for. When I'm not wearing platform sandals, I'm just wearing comfortable strappy sandals or tennis shoes. These are my favorite, just basic white tennies that go with all different types of outfits. And then the other pair of shoes I'm wearing right now, but I will put a little clip up here of them so that you guys can see. And they are just some nice rose gold strappy sandals that go with literally every outfit. All right, jumping into bras. I do feel a little bit weird showing you guys bras on camera, but whatever it is what it is um, Getting different more supportive and comfortable bras is a big part of pregnancy And these will work great for postpartum as well because they are a nursing style So I actually got these off of Amazon. They came in a three pack and I could not highly recommend them more um, I do have a bigger chest so 
I've seen reviews from women who have smaller chests and say that they're super comfortable and supportive, but for all my bigger chest gals, these bras still will work great for you, which I know can be important to know because it's a little bit different when you need that support and comfort when you're bigger chested. They have the clip style back. I don't know if you would call that. I think it's like a clasp style is what you would call it. So it feels more supportive in that area because you can make it as tight or loose as you want. And then they also came in this little cute bag with extra I don't know what you would call these officially, but these little clasped backs, which I think is so nice because these bras were super affordable on Amazon. They're so comfy, and then they threw these in as well if you need the extender on your back as your rib cage and back and all that continues to extend. These bras are fantastic because they can grow with your body. They also don't have underwire, but they feel really supportive to me. I actually just wore one of them on a speed walk today with my dog and did not feel like I wasn't being so supported enough. They have the little nursing clasp right here. So as you're wearing it, you can unclasp to be able to nurse easily. And it came in a three pack of black and nude and then light pink. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is my maternity capsule wardrobe. Thanks for being here with me today. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did as that really supports my channel and helps it to grow. And don't forget to subscribe using that red button down below if you like the content I create and want to stick around for more in the future. And I'm so thankful to those of you who have subscribed to my channel and continue to support my channel as it grows. I absolutely love making videos for you guys. Feel free to let me know down in the comments below different types of pregnancy videos or other types of videos that you would like to see. I make videos on saving money tips, healthy lifestyle, my faith, home and organization, videos with Chloe, my dog, but those are the main categories right there. So if you have any videos that you would like to see, please let me know. I would love to make those for you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!